The Lord gave me this dream. If it is for you, it will resonate with your spirit. And as always, take everything back to the Lord for confirmation and prayer. Some need to come to the realization that moments of your life were only temporary. So forget the former thing. Your humble beginnings were only temporary. It's time for the latter house. Your mind is different now. That's why the vision was yet for the appointed time. Because if given too soon, it would have been squandered away. You would not have stewarded it improperly. You wouldn't have appreciated it or been able to comprehend the value of what you have. Now you're focused on the right things. Now you're focused on God. Things have no choice but to flourish in the house of the Lord. Things have no choice but to come into fruition. Distractions and irritations may come, but no matter the enemy against you, you have been given the power through Christ Jesus to walk over them and to trample them under your feet. Others may get snared because they are blind to the enemy's devices, but you can see in the spirit. You can see the trap a mile away. You can see the intricate details of how the enemy fools others with lust of the eye and flattery of the lips and how the enemy lures them into traps to bind them. But no matter how high they climb, no matter how lofty they appear or how wise they think they are, God will strike them down for coming against you. Walking on the same path as those before you will have you walking in circles, never reaching your destination, never finding rest. To follow someone else's path is to walk blind. It is to walk in the dark. When you were young, you clung to the hip of those who cared for you, and they led you down the path of their life, down the consequences of their choices. When you were young, you clung to their life because you did not know any better. You watched the way others showed differences in the children they claimed to love. You were young then. You were asleep then. Now you're older. Now you're awake. You have made decisions in your youth that you couldn't imagine doing now. You left your prized possessions in the hands of those who were supposed to look after them, but they ended up changing them. They messed up by trying to fix something that was never broken. They took what was considered a trophy and turned it into something cheap. They tried to take the value from what you cared about the most. It's almost amazing that someone who is capable of such things could then be clueless about the effects of their actions. The truth is they know exactly what they are doing. But the truth also is they are blind and they call evil good and good evil. Those who value the old will continuously replay these events in their head, warning how they could have avoided this. But the truth is a wolf is still a wolf even if it is dressed in sheep's clothing. There is no way to change the past. Change your now by focusing on the good it produced in you. Change your future by utilizing the wisdom that was developed in you. You have been delayed because you have tried not to leave others behind. But you have to keep going. Even if you have to walk alone for a season, you can't miss your opportunity because others can't see the vision. You can't miss your opportunity because others don't value what God put in you. It's not your job to convince others. It's your job to allow the light to shine through you, which will show them who your God is. If you let others distract you from the vision, you become bound by the same things that are stealing from them. Waiting for them is like taking steps backwards in the opposite direction. You are going nowhere and are constantly paying for the costs of their actions. If you are to wait, wait only for God. Do not be afraid to tell others the truth and love. If they have wronged you, tell them in private. If they listen to you, you have won them over. The truth in love edifies. The truth spoken in love brings repentance. You've been through so many things just to come back to this moment. A decision that has to be made. Do you follow the paths others have laid out for you? Paths that lead you back into darkness and back into old mindsets? Or do you follow the lamp to your feet and the light to your path? You have been given sight. Don't follow the blind. You have been given the vision. Don't listen to others who don't follow theirs. Thankfully, the Holy Spirit will counsel you and teach you all things. The Holy Spirit will bring to your remembrance the word of God, and you will come to your senses and remember what your Heavenly Father has for you. So come boldly to the throne of grace. Come boldly to your God who has redeemed you and called you by your name. You are His. This world doesn't know your name. This world doesn't know overflow. Come where the righteous are never forsaken or their children begging for bread. Come to your God who favors you. Come where your God has allowed the right people to recognize the light in you. Never go back to those things or people who didn't value you. Fools don't value wisdom. 
Instead of taking care of something that should have been valued, they tried to turn it into something nobody would want. How many times must this lesson replay itself? How many times must we learn? How many times must we wake up and be brought back into the light? Our own decisions have only led us to trust and depend on the wrong things. Thankfully, God has shown us that his grace is sufficient in all of our weaknesses. The lesson will replay itself to make you uncomfortable until you rise up and remember you are the head and not the tail. You have been placed above and not beneath. It will keep repeating itself until you learn the lesson. What fellowship can light have with darkness? Once you remember you are the head, you will be able to do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens you. The head leads the tail. The head makes the choices. Amen.